The Back Rooms, a strange dimension of numerous levels of uncanny corridors hosting a range of creatures and anomalous phenomena. Humans often find themselves here by no-clipping through the bounds of their own reality. While a trip to the Back Rooms is never good for someone's sanity, they never really are quite the same if they make it back. This episode in particular may be troubling for those who have issues with mental trauma and gore. This level gets dark on those topics, this will be the only warning. Level 7777, aka Blood Masquerade, looks like a small cozy house from the 90s, with bookshelves lining many of the living room walls. The details are so meticulous that they even get the middle schoolers boogers wiped on the bottom of every surface of the house. One can enter this level if they come across a wet, rotting, termite-filled door with the design of a masquerade mask scrawled sloppily in blood on the front, and blood leaking from under the gap between the door and the floor. The fandom says that the entrances are different, but in my professional opinion, f*** that. The flooring is carpeted wall to wall with an ugly beige carpet, although thankfully it just looks red because it's soaked completely through with blood to the point that it makes a squelch every time you take a step. The walls and ceilings of this house are also completely coated in a thin layer of human juice. When DNA tested, it was revealed that somehow this blood was identical to the individuals currently inside of the level, even if they are uninjured. The windows of this house stare out into a vast empty void that isn't discernible to human eyes or technology. I'd try to make sense of it for you, but it'd be like trying to explain the color blue to a blind person, or pain to someone without nerves, or sex to an incel. The ineffable qualities of something are what make it a true experience. All the windows are locked too because last time I left one open I had to explain why there was a bright red stain directly below my open 7th floor apartment window and where that lady who definitely was not a sex worker went. The most gut-wrenching part of this level is the blood masquerade cognito hazard effect that level 7777 gets its name from. Immediately upon entering this place, the wanderer is hit with the putrid stench of rotting flesh almost on par with an Arby's establishment. As they step into the level they will feel the blood pooling on the ground, but just below it they will feel something squishy, something soft, something that if you step in the wrong spot makes a sickening crunch. I would advise against looking down, but knowing humans, now that I said it, most of you are more likely to do it, or have already done it. I can't not mention it though, or you'll blame me for not warning you, so whatever, fuck you too. When the person looks down, they will see that the floor is filled with the mutilated corpses of their loved ones. Some missing limbs, some disemboweled, some missing parts to their faces. I feel their pain. I pull my hangnail too far. The most common outcome is that the wanderer will immediately have their psyche shattered, and will lay on the blood-soaked ground before getting dragged down by the mutilated hands of the corpses, offering no resistance as they join the pile of rotting flesh. Dude, I own an original Ed Gein lamp, and even I think that's a bit over the top. If they do not die from this, they will likely violently lash out against anyone in the room before they descend into insanity. The only confirmed ways to end the insanity induced by the blood masquerade effect is via death or power washer lobotomy. One squirt up the nose and boom, section thought is completely gone, and now my mentally incapacitated drooling friend has behavior yet again more aligned with what society deems acceptable. These are not actually the real versions of your friends and loved ones, just like how if that blood all over the wall actually came from your body, you'd be dead and emptied like a scrunched up juice box. Although this might be hard to stomach when you feel the viscera and blood of your beloved childhood friend squish between your toes. If the person is a psychopath or has made no deep connections in life, they will be immune to this cognito hazard, and will not see dead bodies of anyone specifically, just a blood-filled house with a bunch of murdered faceless mannequin people. While this might be disturbing still, at least one of you psychopaths is aroused by this. As someone who constructs cognito hazards, you can tell a lot about an artist from their art, and this entity needs someone to talk to, and a hug, and to be away from all sharp things for its own safety and for everyone else's. If you like this video and want us to come back to the back rooms and do more sus things, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled, or I'll find a big stick and hit you until you stop moving. Real quick before we go, I'd like to thank Maya Bunny 20 for these new dope stills. They're a cult classic and in the description of every video. Oh, hey, bye.